Welcome back to Lobra Gaming and another episode of Rain World by Video Cult. Let's see what we can find today. Uh, so the last time we tried to make our way up that tower for no particular reason other than to find out what was up there. Turns out it was practically nothing. So this time I am hoping that the hologram helper is gonna help us figure out where the um, glowy things are. I mean, I I think that's what we uh, want, but I can't be sure, can I? Uh, it's been a couple of weeks now since I've actually played, so I do have to sort of remind myself where we've gone and what we've done since last time. But I feel like controls and stuff shouldn't really be uh, a problem. Square to pick things up. And to eat, circle to throw things away. X to jump. Still playing with my DualShock 4 controller, in case you've forgotten all about that. Oh, stop pushing me around. Fellas. Right, here we go. Going to the left. Oh, I suddenly just realized that I have now picked up the controller and, and I'm playing with uh, the D-pad for some reason. Why would I do that? I haven't done so far, but why not? Let's try that for a bit. See if uh, that makes the experience any uh, different. Uh, I've been playing uh, Thumper a lot. The, um, uh, I don't even know what you want to call it, the rhythm-based game. And uh, the D-pad is very crucial to play that game. So I'm guessing maybe that's why I sort of instinctively Started playing with the D-pad right now. But here we go. Slug cat, get out of the water, do your thing. I really wish that uh, hologram helper would uh, show its face so that we get some sort of indication of where to go. Oh, I do remember from editing one of the uh, episodes that, let's see if we can find it on the map. The hologram helper was at some point pointing up to this area. I don't know whether it wants us to go left or right from here, and it's been a long time since we've seen it now. So, I'm going to try to go down here. And, uh, let's see. Actually, you know what? Let's... Let's try to make our way to that hibernation chamber down there, if we can, and uh, use that as our safe spot. All right, we have to go back to the previous screen. Oh, here we go. All right, so up for air. It's going to be a bit of a dive. I'm hoping Slugcat has the lung capacity to do that. There we go. Keep going, keep going. Stay alive. Don't drown. We go down. Nice. Let's hibernate and then I think maybe I'm uh, regretting my decision. I feel like in those scenarios, let me elaborate. I'm regretting my decision to use the D-pad, so I'm switching back to the analog stick for a bit. To, uh... Yeah, I, I think maybe it was a bit better. I mean, it feels maybe a little bit less precise, but in terms of direction, swimming and whatnot, uh, it feels a bit more suited for analog sticks. Just, that's just me thinking out loud, really. I can't remember all the names of these uh, nodes and whatnot. I remember one of them was the monk. One of them was the saint. Oh yeah, that's the, the traveler. I think it's the one on the uh, left. Okay, let's just pick up the spear since it's here. A bit shorter rain cycle this time. Let's see if our... Uh, if our... Oh, I, I called him a name, didn't I? I gave him a name. Phil. Fill the hologram helper. There he is. What do you have to say? Where do you want us to go? Yeah, that way. As previously 
updated. He wants us to go up the second one. Right, before we do that, let's eat. Now I'm seriously conflicted concerning the uh, D-pad versus the analog stick. Not really sure what I prefer anymore. How'd that happen? Okay. Keep going right. And then this way. All right, I'm just pausing to actually confirm which direction it wants us to go. And now. To the right. All right. So it actually wants us to go to the citadel. I thought maybe that was uh, the wrong way. All right. Oh, that didn't work. Let's go up. Oh, I can't go up all the way. Yeah, it does want us to go to the uh, Shaded Citadel, it seems. I thought maybe that was the, uh, the wrong way. Hooray! Let's hibernate. Now we can immediately eat some more. I'm actually going to ba go back into the previous room to uh, grab whatever food was there. <laughs> There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to hibernate on the other side. Here we are. I mean, we have experienced in the past that going from right to left through these gates have generally been a pretty bad idea. But, uh, you know, there goes nothing. Ah, now we've got a second blip on the Wanderer. Alright, let's grab our spear. We have a relatively long cycle. Now I'm hoping Phil will show his face again and tell us where in the shaded citadel shall we go. Now he's over there. No? Alright, grab some food, grab some food, grab some more food. Excellent. And excellent. All right, let's pick up this pearl because obviously there's a uh, toll at some spot in this area, or at least so Phil tells us. Oh, well, that's how I interpret what he's telling us. All right, we were already protected with uh, one of these flowers and I have learned that it doesn't work double, so might as well just leave that there for the future. Come on, slow cat, climb up. There you go. Right. Let's make our way through and see if we can find one of those uh, glowy things. Yeah, now it's showing us this is the right way to go. It didn't do that last time we were here, and that's why I got confused and thought maybe we were not meant to go here. But all right, let's... Uh, Ah, not go this way. Oh, it's through this tunnel. Let's just follow whatever Phil tells us right now. Because that's like the one thing that we haven't actively done. Oh, there was a glowing creature over there. Ah, there's another glowing creature as well. Let's hope they are not deadly. Uh, let's see, there we go. All right, the glowing creatures are the ones hanging from these strings. Is that dangerous? Oh, I can't tell at all. Oh, whether these are dangerous or not. Uh, but they do eat glowy things, obviously, because they themselves glow. Okay, Phil, where do we go now? Phil has gone. Let's follow the uh, the creatures, the uh, monkey brats, whatever they are. I, I, I am a little freaked out by them. Where do they go? They are lighting this place up, fighting over something. I really can't tell whether they're mean or whatever. All right, it's way too dark in here. All right, you there? Can you help me? Uh, 
There we go. Now we can follow it. It can show us the way. Maybe? They're pretty cool. They're very cute. Very cute. Alright, we're going the wrong way, it seems. Let's uh, follow Phil back in the dark, if we can. Alright, it's very hard to see anything at all. Here we are. Alright, Phil. Which way is the right way? Hey, This way? Yeah, there we go. Down this way. Shaft. Familiar kind of shaft. Right. It is very dark. Very hard to see anything at all. Oh. Here we go. Apparently going the right way. And here's a shelter. Let's uh, use this shelter because we are going the right way now. Excellent. I feel like we're finally making some sort of progress, which is a good feeling. Okay, good. Medium length rain cycle. That's probably going to be fine. Probably going to eat those words later, but for now it's fine. Down we go. Uh, here's more food. Let's throw that away. Eat some food instead. Pop. Pop. Yum, yum, yum. Food is good. Oh shit, there's one of those branches. Are we supposed to pay, uh, pay a toll for this one? I mean, that's kind of what I did in the, uh, in the drainage system, I threw a pearl at one of those branches, and that seemed to make the difference, but, um, yeah, it's still reaching for me. The thing is, if that is the case, I, do, I mean, if it isn't the case, I don't want to waste the pearl on it in case there's a uh, scavenger toll just on the other side or something. So, let's see what happens if we try to jump across here. Yeah, that was a bad idea, wasn't it? I threw the pearl away. That's what I did. No, wait, I still have it. Okay, that worked. Oh shit, there's another one though. Okay, it is currently distracted by the bats. Oof, really not sure what to... Uh, what to do about these creatures. Okay, distracted by bats. What happens now if we try to swim under it? Oh, the bats have gone. Don't grab me, don't grab me. Oh, wow. Whew. Stressful. Right. Um, Phil, we're supposed to keep going left? Tell me. Is that a yes? Okay, now it's pointing to the right. Alright, we'll go down here. Once again, we are already protected from the uh, flowers. So, could just leave them around. Right, left or right? Let's try left. Oh, this one is hanging from the ceiling. Can it reach me if I go down below? No. There's another hibernation chamber. Oh, but there's a thing hanging over it. Crap. Alright, this is apparently a bit of a dead end. Apart from the hibernation chamber, of course. How's the cycle doing now? Uh, not that long. You know what, let's... Whoa! Okay, it's awake. Shit. There we go. Nice. Uh, let's try to be inconspicuous! Oh shit! Oh my god. That's probably a bad idea then, to stay here, but okay. That's what we're doing. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> let's uh, see if we can avoid being eaten when we poke our head out through this uh, hibernation chamber, shall we? Oh my god. Ah! 
Okay, that wasn't too bad, but definitely not going back there for food or anything at all, really, if I can avoid it. All right, this is bad. Will it reach into the wards? Ah, it does. Shit. Shit. Okay, we are dead. This is not a good spot to be in. So all of these plants are uh, dragging me down, bro. Bruv. Oh, shit. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, avoid, avoid, danger. Holy crap. Felt like I grabbed some food, but I threw the food away, it seems. Let's see. Oh, I threw the pearl away, that's not good. Okay, slug cat, what are you doing here? Throwing the food away. All right, great. Get the food. And uh, the pearl. Do you have the pearl now? Have you dropped it? Probably dropped it, didn't you? Because you're so dumb. Is that the pearl? Do I have the pearl? I have no idea what I'm carrying right now. I'm carrying something. I am hoping that it is. It is the pearl. Yay! Oh, man. Okay, let's eat this thing. And then eat the flower so that we get our protection back. Our little shield. Good. Uh, yeah, quite a long cycle still. Oh, man. Oh, fuck's sake. How do we avoid this thing? Uh, can't really uh, go around it in any other way. Are there any spears or anything? I mean, we left a spear back here, but... Oh, fuck's sake. Okay. Guess we have no choice but to just, you know, go for it, really. Didn't really work out last time, but... Goes nothing. And there we go. Okay, let us make our way through then. And see if Phil is actually guiding us on the right path. Please, Phil. Please, pretty please. Wait, if I fall down here, is that going to make me stuck? <laughs> well, we're about to find out. Oh, we're good. Okay. Here we are. And, ah, here we go. Very bright up here. That is a good sign, I reckon. If we can, you know, actually get up there. Oh. Well, let's try to go under. There was, uh, yeah, there's several spears and stuff over here, I'm guessing, that we're meant to use those. Yeah, we're gonna have to, I think, in order to actually get up here. But maybe not this way. Hmm. Well, there are plenty of them. So let's just pick one up. Climb here. That's the second one. We're building a ladder. Right. Come on, slug cat. You can do it. Don't be shy. There we go. Huh. Right. One more should do it, I think. So let's get this one. Oh, and then <laughs> go up for air so we don't suddenly drown. And here we go. Up, up, up we go. Oh, ah, oh, crap. I fell down. <laughs> I fell down again. How clumsy of me. It's like I'm a slug cat or something. Here we go. Up. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit. Right, here we go. Let's go get that pearl back. Okay, pearl. We have it. Now then, let's make our way up here. If we may. Oh, it's a little bit tricky. Hold on, there's a hibernation chamber. Let's hibernate. Save our game and whatnot. And all that jazz. Feeling really good about the progress today, though. 
it's a good feeling when you have sessions like this. Okay, uh, so we can go up on this side. Guess. Is this some sort of lift? It does appear to be a lift. Let's hope it doesn't suddenly start moving and then squashes us. No, obviously not. Oh, there's bound to be something scary in here, right? One of these poles. Not a pole, right? Been through all of that before. Come on. Stay alive. Made it this far. Now stay alive. Why is there a bright light up here? Who knows? Is there something hidden? No. There appears to not be anything hidden. Let's launch. Woohoo! Oh. Memory crypts. Okay, there's a new area. Strange robot ostriches? Let's try to stay away from those. But here they come. Oh, 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 whoa! Shit. That was way too close. Wow, this is going to be intense, isn't it? Now let's turn the right way around. How do we do that? There we go. Okay, so they're sort of chasing each other. Oh, no, no! Ah! Okay, so there's a lot of them as well. This is going to be tricky. I'm going to say thank you so much for watching this episode of Rain World. Join me next week as we fully explore this area. The memory crypts.